Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Anna Vanilla Arts. I'm Anna Vanilla, where I um, put upload on my channel everything that I know, everything that I can let you know in case you didn't know, and sharing my experience my um, um, knowledge with you and happily doing this sh on my channel and for today <coughs> I'm showing you a headband a headband that I've made I haven't finished it yet but um, it's um, a headband with this beautiful color with acrylic yarn. I have um, needles number three and 83 loops in total I've got on my needles. And this is the pattern. The pattern is very easy to memorize. It's very easy to do. So what you need to do is to knit two rows of um, one front stitch, one purl stitch, one front stitch, one purl stitch. And on the back second row you need, um, as you can see, the loops. For example, if the loops are showing you to be front stitch you do front stitch if it's showing you that it's a purl stitch you do a purl stitch and only then you start to do this pattern so this is the pattern we see one front stitch, one purl stitch, one front stitch, one purl stitch and so on. So what we need to do is not need the first front stitch but looking for the purl stitch which is the second, um, second loop and right under the purl stitch it's like a hole here you see it's a hole this it's a hole here and we take the front needle through the hole under the purl stitch we grab this yarn you see i put it through i grab the yarn from the behind to the front and then I put yarn over it and these two loops we knit them together and it becomes three loops again to make this combination to make this pattern the row is like so so you see front stitch and you see next one purl stitch we put under the purl stitch and we grab this yarn from behind we put the yarn over the needle and then we knit this both of them the two loops together with a front stitch again this is purl stitch under the purl stitch we grab the yarn rotate it slightly and we pick up the yarn over and then we use a needle through these two loops and we grab another loop and it becomes free so from two becomes free It 
It's a very simple pattern. Uh, after a while, you will master it very well. You will see. Now this is a second row of this pattern. So what we see is the back of a head. So the first loop we never ever need. Then the next two, you see like a group of three here. The group of three which we've made from two free loops. So the first two loops we need with a pearl stitch. Then the third loop we need with a front stitch. Two pearl stitch, front stitch. Two pearl stitch, front stitch. Two pearl stitches, front stitch. Pearl stitches, front stitch. Two pearls together, a front stitch. Two pearls together, front stitch. One. Two, one pearl, and then front stitch. From two we make one pearl, front stitch. From two we make one pearl, front stitch. And so on. This is the whole pattern, and we start from the row one. We do second row. And so on. It's very simple to make. It's very simple to make, but it's very beautiful in as the end result. Now I would like to show you how I close loops. I have needed the amount of um, uh, the length uh, and the height of my um, headband and this is how I close. So I take two, first two, I grab the yarn from behind and create a loop and then we release these two loops and then this loop that we created put back on the left needle we grab the yarn again through the two loops we put it back onto the needle and two together with a front stitch by creating a new loop and make sure you make slightly larger um, closing like the loops for this um, headset head um, headband and so that it it's able to go around your head easily without being too tight. So we take the two together and release and put it back. I'm trying to do a bit looser so that it is more space for stretchiness. And so on. And you 
get this um, slight plotting as you can see it's quite nice I have finished um, bonding and stitching this um, headband and this is how I hide the yarn I literally go and pick up loop after loop with my plastic needle neon plastic needle which is my favorite needle make a knot to secure it And then I hide it all along through the loops. And now we cut it off and this is it. The headband is finished. We have finished this headband, this wonderful, wonderful pattern. It looks nice. I love it. I hope you love it too. This is a stitch at the back. I've done it carefully so it's straight and we've hidden yarns here with um, uh, the stitching I've hidden my threads odds and ends and it's fantastic I love it I love the color I love the texture it's very tactile uh, it looks almost like a grain growing and I do love it quite a bit I hope you love this pattern enough for you to make one yourself if you make one yourself please share it with me I'll be happy to see what others um, are doing from my buttons and hopefully we can have a chat about that uh, the patterns that I get on my that you get on my channel are not anywhere else they are purely mine so feel free comfortable to subscribe and get the new patterns the new drawings of me doing and um, we'll get stylish and have fun doing artistic things together now let me show you how it looks on my mannequin I'll wear it just so that you can have an idea of how it looks like on the head as you can see it covers nice levy forehead uh, it covers the years nicely the stitches at the back here barely noticeable it covers the years as you can see here it's um, I think it's fantastic I love it I hope you love it enough to make one for yourself so yeah I think it's it's terrific I love it um, please subscribe and see you soon in the next video I'm Anna Vanilla welcome to my channel Anna Vanilla Arts and we can fun have fun together creating beautiful things and share the patterns and all sorts of things that we know together and have fun as always so please subscribe and see you soon Bye.